Hi everyone, welcome to Last Minute Coders. My name is Vinay. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about time zones and how we can set up different time zones irrespective of which time zone we are on. So as you can see, I am from India. So my time zone is IST. So at India currently, it is like 8.26 PM. Let me just click up here. Now it is 8.28 PM. Let me show you world clock quickly. So you can see up here 828 p.m. here in India and in London it is 358 and Tokyo uh, 1158 p.m. Okay, so see this. Let me just show you here BST British summer time. So London time is 358 JST Japan is standard time. So it is 1158. This is Pakistan Lahore time. This is Vietnam standard time Eastern standard time. Pacific Standard Time and UTC the most important one UTC is nothing but like GMT Greenwich Mean Time which is what which is zero zero it is like prime meridian okay and UTC means uh, let me let me check though so that I don't spell it correct coordinated universal time okay so UTC is nothing but coordinated U universal time all right so Let's say this is our earth. So there is one imaginary line which divide the earth and earth and two equal parts. So this is the imaginary line. I will write I L. So this is what we call as prime meridian or GMT or UTC, whatever you can call. So if your country lies up here, okay, let's say North America, South America. So the here, this side, the time will in, in negative. And if we go to this side, this time will be in positive okay now how this negative positive thing work so let me just okay so see this is a this is what this is let's say this is our clock okay so how, how does clock work right so let's say this is my hour hour hand and if my hour hand goes from here to here it completes one full round one full round is what 360 degree which is equal to what 24 hour so one degree if i just convert this hour into minute into 60 and divide it by like this six so it will be four minutes so one degree is what four minute and this minute can be written as like this okay so one degree is what this four minute so you know about latitude longitude right i hope you know okay so whatever like latitude you are on let's say let's say 15 degree east okay so let's say the time at utc currently is like let's say 1 am so 15 degree I told you right 15 degrees what like it is four minutes 15 into four if we convert it into minute it will be I think 60 minute and one hour so the time at this place will be 2 a.m. okay if my UTC is this so time at this 15 degrees is this, this so what IST PST EST this means okay so let me just give you example. So IST UTC is what zero zero. IST is what plus five thirty. Uh, PST is what minus eight. Reason because it is on the western side. PST is on the west. EST IST is on east. Okay, so whatever is on east, as I told you earlier, this is Earth. East side will be on positive, and west side will be on negative. Okay. So here similarly EST maybe it is like 5 minus 5 uh, BST it is plus 1 0 because Europe is somewhere here only okay uh, Japan is like I think uh, 9 Vietnam sorry I don't know uh, this Pakistan is like our neighbor so they are 530 5 sorry 5 plus 5 so simple once you find out like UTC with your current time zone we can find out UTC okay 
and once we find utc what we just add we just add this much hour okay 5 hour 30 minute we add to that and we get this this number okay this time so it is it is that simple so i hope you like now know the theory i know like this is unnecessary but yeah we should know like one degree is what it is four minute okay and this side is positive this side is negative what is utc so now now we know all these things so let us let us quickly jump over to the code okay so here we are so our current let me let me add one another screen and let's start from the beginning so here we are let me copy this label first this and this label i'll just copy these three sorry these three i'll copy so that it will save my time okay so i have this adder time zone tutorial current time zone so how, how i am getting my current time zone so i have used this variable where current time but you can directly use this now function if you use now function whichever time zone you are on okay Uh, come on, dude. There, it is a little bit slow. Again, let me type now. Okay, so see. Yeah, now I got this time, right? So this is the, my current time why i created that button because like this is a static okay see wow. now my time is like 8 35 but it didn't update it here right if i do like this remove the formula update it again see again let me control x i don't know why it is like working so slow i remove the code from here and still it is showing me that the state Come on, dude, work. Sometimes like this work really slow, okay? So let me, okay, do the same, 835. So the point is like, I created that button because like whenever I click on that button, this date should get auto update, okay? So simply just you also create one like button. Let me just copy this button from here. Okay, let me paste this button up here. Okay, so set current time. You can define any variable. To define a variable, we have the set function, right? And let me name it as like where my time I'll say. Okay, so I just created one uh, global variable my time. Inside that, what I'm storing, I'm storing the current time, okay? So this is fine. Once you click on this button, so this variable will where my time will contain now. I don't know why this is working so slow. See. Come on, man, work. Sometimes this power app gives me so issues and nothing nothing is present in this app. This is like just a demo app And it's still like it is giving issues. Okay. See this time it is fine. Let me again press this button and Inside where time see now I'm getting correct time 8 hour 37 minute and 16 second, okay? So this is this is fine okay now here instead of now let's use this variable where my time okay so this time it is fine whenever i'll press up here it will auto this will auto update as the time increases so till here it is fine right but like how we can now our task is whatever time zone we are on firstly we, we will need to make sure how we can how we can get utc okay Universal, uh, sorry. 
UTC is nothing with nothing but green which mean time UTC means uh, again let me <laughs> coordinated universal time okay UTC is what coordinated universal time so see this how we can how we can get UTC okay for that we have firstly we have one function time zone offset now what this will do let's see if I do time zone offset function come on dude see up here it is written up here what minus 330 now what this minus 330 is man it created two buttons why just delete this okay so 330 and it is just a pregnant 330 so this or this if i just show you this function so this is what time zone offset so what this is returning what this 330 means i told you right i am from ist for ist we have like this 5 hour 30 minute our time is 5 hour 30 minute ahead of utc or gmt whatever you can call it coordinated universal time greenwich mean time okay so this is like zero zero so our time is 5 hour 30 minute ahead so 5 hour is what 5 hour is nothing but 600 minute plus sorry 300 minute plus 30 minute if i add so it will be 330 minute and here if you see this is minus 330 so whichever time zone you are on based on that it will be positive negative and this is what 330 minute right okay well and good once i got this okay 330 minute for utc what i need to do so this is my current time right this is my current time so my current time what I just need to do, I just need to subtract these 330 minute and what I'll get, I'll get UTC, right? So it is that simple. So how we can, how we can do that? So see this, this is my current time zone. So I'll use date diff function. Okay. I'll use date diff function and inside it, I'll say I'll use this variable okay this variable where this variable I created right where my time my time okay then I'll subtract this from this and what I'll do at last I need to define like what are what is this thing okay what time this thing is what this is what this is minute okay so day what was that this time unit is what minute okay here it will be date add instead of date okay so see date diff why i didn't do date diff date diff is like wrong date add means like you need to add since it is a negative if we add positive to negative it will be negative okay so see if we just subtract 530 from it so it will be 307 simple as that so this is what this is my utc okay this is my utc coordinated universal time all right so once you have find utc okay let me copy paste this so once you you got utc right now it is like very much simple whichever time zone you need let's say pst ist whatever let's say i need like pst it is i know it is like minus 8.00 so minus 8 so what is that minute or hour this 8 is nothing but hours okay so i'll i'll do this see i got this pst time zone so the time based on pst okay now let's say if i wanted to do bst brit is a standard or summer time okay bst so it is what it is i think just utc plus one okay 
so here i'll just do one instead of this and see this and if i click up here see date got auto updated like 8 43 this so let us check the universal clock clock so see this current time of india is 8 43 london is 4 13 and i think this is it okay bst there is okay 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 there is there is this issue issue is what i just added with this time instead i just need to add with this okay so let me just copy you you need to add with utc instead of like your your time right so let me add this up here so sorry about it okay so see let me again click up here so currently BST is 413 here also 4 now it is 414 so let us just click up here so see 414 414 844 844 and so on and so forth uh, you will find it here okay so this is how you can like set up for your time zone just just see like visit any website and you can you can see this chart okay if you see European central time so that is plus one eastern european time that is plus two so see simple as that for india here see five colon thirty so in the same way you can you can do for other other time zones also right this is it for this video uh thank you for watching if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the bell icon too so you don't miss any upcoming notifications on such tutorials and you can just comment your time zones in the comment box. So I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to like also. Okay. Till then, goodbye. Take care.